close. Oh, oh, look at yeah, that. Yeah, look at that. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, look at that, huh? Yeah. Are okay. we there on this one? Are we ready to go? Or? Yeah. Oh, no, just turn it around. I'm just going to turn it around and give it like two more minutes. Yeah, just look at that cross. Put it back. Two more minutes. Got it. Gonna smoke me a fat and brisket. I got my barbecue shoes on. Welcome to BarbecuePitBoys.com. Today we're doing a classic pizza at the pit. And it's real easy to do. <laughs> I am telling you, we are doing the classic white clam pizza. You got to check it out. We've got some fresh shuck clams. We've got some canned minced clams. You know about those. Oh, if you're looking for a classic, unbelievably fantastic pizza, you got to check this out. Yo. Hey, what's going on? Slasher, how's it going here? We're going right. to make the dough. Got to have the dough. We're doing it from scratch, though, right? I yeah. mean, I guess you could go out and get one of those pre-made... Uh, you know, pre-made uh, pizza dough or pizza, yeah. you know, they kind of make them in a package, but that's not real dough, right? I guess. So we're going to do it from scratch here, so, and... Uh, that's the way to do it. So what do we got? We got a... Ah, uh, yeah, we're going to make this, uh, this, what, 14 by 20 size pan. Got it, got it. Oh, yeah. Dump two bags in, and now we're going to dump some uh, sugar. Right here. Active dried I'm yeast. Put some sugar in there. Here's some sugar. sugar. That's two tablespoons of sugar. Two tablespoons oh. of sugar. And we're going to dump in some hot water. It's 110 hot. degrees. Uh, it has to be kind of specific, huh? 110. 110. Yeah. It's not supposed to be any colder or any warmer. And that's because of the yeast, right? Correct. So, 110 degrees kicks yeah. the yeast off. Right. And we just stir that just a little bit. Oh. Just a little. Man. This is what you got to do to make a great white clam pizza. You want that dough to yeah to rise good. Okay, now we're going to leave that alone for about maybe 15 minutes. All right, and that activates the yeast. That's it. Cool. Little creatures. Cool. All right. Yeah. That yeast is yeah. Uh, blooming. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Got right little creamy spots on top with the yeast. There you go. Did its job. It's blooming. Yep. And it's that's deep. where the, the 110 degree water comes in. It. Oh, yeah. Mixes with it. You got to do it right. Yep. This is why your store-bought pizza sucks, yep. right? Because they don't take the time to make real, authentic dough. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we're going to uh, we're gonna put in uh, the flour. We've got four cups of flour here. So oh. how, many, how many cups of flour? Uh, Water do we have in there? That's two cups so of two water. Two cups of water. Yeah, because of the size of this of this pizza. This yeah. is a, a party size pizza, so it's yeah, yeah. it's gonna everything's gonna be kind of doubled. Yeah. So we're gonna dump this um, flour right in. This is like four cups. That's four cups. All purpose oh, okay. flour or bread flour, whatever you want to yeah, use. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's pit master privilege, right? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so and yeah. we're gonna dump in some for this pizza, we're going to dump in granulated garlic. Oh, yeah. Garlic flavored right dough. In there. Are you kidding me? It yep. should be perfect for a clam pizza. Yep. Right? And you got to put the salt in. Got to so we got the salt. There we go. Mix that in. Now we're going to start oh, mixing yeah. it. We'll use the handle here. Now you could head on over to our website to get the uh, exact recipe, of course. That should go without saying. We got, I don't know, a thousand thousand um, tutorials on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, wherever you hang. But just go right to our website, barbecuepitboys.com. Yeah. Yeah, get that oh, dough nice work in there. Get that dough. Oh. Keep it going around, around, around. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Like making any pizza, you gotta throw the flour on the board. All right. We're gonna need yeah. that. Oh man. There we go. Here we go. Now roll that flour right out. 
Uh, not every pizza joint makes their own dough. You do know that, right? <laughs> Sometimes they fake it. But a good uh, pizza joint is definitely making their dough in the morning. Called hand power, muscle power. There's a lot of work to kneading dough to get it right. It makes all the difference in the world. So this is basically the technique of working the dough and forming it. Yeah, and you can do this in the winter too, as cold as it is, <laughs> uh, which is usually an impediment to a, a good dough rise, of course, but we've done all the precautions, kept the dough warm next to our wood stove inside. This is so the yeast will mature. Let me take a little olive oil here. Throw it in the bowl. All right. Man. There's nothing like a Friday night pizza on a Thursday. <laughs> or a Monday. You're already seeing how the dough is beginning to take shape. Then we're going to take it. We're going to put it in a nice warm area. And let it sit for about an hour. Yep. And this is, again, the yeast is acting, and uh, this thing will get big. There we go. Perfect. So, I guess we'll put it, since it's so damn cold today, we'll bring it into the pit. And place this... Right, uh, right next to the wood stove. stove. Right next to the wood stove. The wood stove is going good. Oh, yeah. we got some good fire in here. Keep it. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yep. Got it. Yep. There it goes. Thank God for heat, right? Yep. We'll take a wood stove. Perfect. There we go. Got to chop up some garlic, yeah. Yep. Oh, Let's cut it right up. Kidding me. Cut it up. Nothing fancy. Just cutting it. Just cutting it with a knife, that's it. Perfect. Yeah. All right, grate up some cheese. Yeah. And some fresh parm. Oh, yeah. yeah fresh, yeah. off the block parm. Gotta have a good amount for a pizza that big. Pour the wheel on it. Oh, yeah. Got the garlic cut. Yeah, we got the garlic all sliced up. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice to make everything from scratch. Makes a difference, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yep. Old school, you know. Yeah. That's the problem. Most people don't know what old school is anymore. Yeah. They? It's all processed. It's good stuff. People want the instant everything, right? Yeah. Like microwave pizza. Oh, sure. Of course. Yeah. Man. All right. That should be enough. Yeah. Looks I don't sense. think we're going to use all this. So we'll There's about 10 ounces of shredded there, but you probably won't use all of it. But then again, if you want. Yeah. You got plenty. Yeah, that should be enough. All right, cool. How's that dough going there? Oh, yeah, look at that, huh? There she is. It's starting to rise. There she goes. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be good pizza. In the meantime, I think the pit boys got some homemade calzones going on here. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, we get this oil here. Back to the pizza. I'm going to oil that pan up good, man. Now, this is a, what, a 15 by 20 inch pan? I think it's something like, like that. Yeah, 14 by 20. 14 by 20, like yeah. That. It's a good yeah. size. Regular party. It's small, a good size uh, pizza pan, actually. Small little party pizza. You see how it's got these little ridges in here. Yeah. Which kind of makes it a pizza pan. Easy to work with. Yep. Yeah. All right. So. And get a little cornmeal. Put your cornmeal in. You gotta have the cornmeal. Uh, it makes it easier to work with the pizza, yeah. and it also adds um, a texture. Just this awesome texture at the bottom of the pizza. It's a little crusty. Yeah. A little crusty bite to it. Yeah. And I got that dough now. That dough's risen. Well, how is it? Let me see. We've had that dough. 
sitting next to the uh, wood stove. Oh yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so you can yeah. see how it's uh, risen. Nice and soft, yeah. Nice yeah. and soft. Oh. Yeah. Damn. Now, <sighs> pan. Oh yeah. And now, of course, we want to fit it to the pan. Yeah, I got to roll these up. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it all over. There you go. You start working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, of course, you uh, oh, yeah. pizza dough experts out there, uh, you might have your own method. <laughs> go for it. If you can spin these pies 15 feet in the air, go right ahead and do it. But otherwise, this is the easiest way, right? You just keep pushing, spreading. And it'll fit nicely to this pan. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah. I'm trying to get it the same thickness all the way around right. if we can. So it cooks evenly. Yeah. Now, we're going to be putting this in a wood-fired oven. And I'm telling you, if you have that option, put your pizza in a wood-fired oven, do it. Nothing else even comes close. Not your kitchen one. Uh, that's why wood-fired pizza is the best pizza on the planet. Mm -hmm. It's all about the, uh, the wood, the smoke flavor. Oh, yeah. All right. You can see. Oh, yeah. Let me do it. You got to have the dough right when making pizza. Otherwise, don't make a pizza. It. It's like a good uh, grinder, right? Mm. Or a good sub. If you're trying to make a good sub, you better have good bread. You put a little. Yeah, you gotta have it. So and this is what's going little on. Little fingers around the edges there. So he's creating an edge. This will. Mm. Oh yeah. So by now uh, you're probably calling out for pizza, right? Have it delivered. You get it. Unless you got some peanut butter in the shell. Okay. You can always grab that. Oh man, it's gonna be good. All right. Next step. Now this is real important. <laughs> you gotta have some SPG. So we're gonna season this dough just a tad. Not a lot. Not a lot. Nope. Now if you don't have SPG, eh, maybe a little pepper, right? would help so very little that's it but you got to flavor the dough no now i'm gonna put on the parmesan no, the parmesan yes uh for your keyboard uh pizza cops out there yeah we put the cheese down first mm -hmm. if you want to go ahead and put the sauce down you just go right ahead but this is the way get that cheese in there mm -hmm. Man, this is going to be like a one-hour video, man, you know? But that's what it takes to make a good pizza. you got to take your time with this yeah. white clam pizza. Oh, yeah. Hey, Lord have mercy. Now, now we're going to toss on some garlic. Now, this is key. Yeah. You're going to see a lot it's of garlic. Chunky, chunky. Chunky garlic. Right. They're not razor thin cut. They're chunky. This is the way yeah. you want to do it. They'll roast up yeah. nicely in the uh, pizza oven. Yeah. Or oven. We got chunky, chunky. Oh yeah. Oh. Get those sides. Yeah. Gotta got have the garlic. The garlic oh. goes hand in hand with the clam. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well, I think we could say we're going to be eating good tonight, Martha. I'm yeah. telling you. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen her in a while, bro. What's going on, Sasha? I saw her walking around the street one day. No kidding. She was Ooh. walking the street. Mm. Oh, well. This is hitching. All right. All so, right. Fresh garlic. Yep. Now, now a little bit of that clam juice. Clam juice off those fresh clams. Spritz it on there. See? 
Now, if your pizza, pizza guy is not doing it this way, splashing on some clam juice. Well, he's just not making his clam pizza right now, is he? <laughs> oh. It's like the uh, blessing, right? Throw a little bit of that uh, miracle water on your face. Perfect. That's it. Now, I don't know what we're going on there, man. Now, we've got a little bit of little garlic, uh, garlic yep. powder. A little bit of the garlic powder. Just a little In bit. In addition to the chunks of garlic. Yep. A little bit. Not much. Got to do it. Yep. Now we'll spritz on some lemon juice. Spritz on the lemon juice. Ooh. Yeah. The lemon juice with the clams. Perfect. Now. All right. Now, the clams. Now we got the clams here. This is what it's all about. And when we're putting clams on a clam pizza, we're putting a lot of clams. You're not going to be shortchanged by some, uh, I don't know, chain or whatever. Although a lot of chains don't do clam pizzas, do they? I don't know. Probably not. They just don't have the time. Yeah, so I got all those clams on there. Oh, he's smoking. He's got to keep putting them on. Yeah. He's putting them on, putting them on. Man, I'll tell you what. Yep. It's good. Yep. Yeah, it's beautiful. I'm gonna eat your heart out. I don't know. What is it? Pizza Hut? Yeah. Pizza King? Yeah. Dominic Brothers or Domino's? Those are big guys, man. They've been around a long time. Yeah. They know what they're doing. They know how to. Get your pizza to you real quick, right? Even if it's kind of like, eh, it's just sauce on bread, right? I mean, really. So it really pays to take the time to make something special yep. for yourself. Old school. Take the time. It's going to taste a lot better. But, I don't know. Has that pizza guy come yet, Joe? I mean, this is it's taking a while, right? Yeah. Nice. All right, now. What's going on? Oh. Uh, we're going to sprinkle on a little bit of red pepper. A red pepper flake. Just a little bit. A little bit of red pepper. We're going to make it too hot. Nope. You want to be able to taste the clams. Oh, yeah. Mm. Look at that. That's essential, too. you got to have the red pepper flake. Mm. I want, to, authentic, you know? I want to try to make it abundanza. Yeah. Oh, man. Now we got to have okay. some of the leafy green stuff on here. Yeah, just a makes it look pretty. A little bit of parsley. Pretty. A little bit of parsley. Mm -hmm. You can use the fresh parsley, but it's not growing this time of year. So we'll just use the, uh, the bottled parsley. It'll work. Mm. A little bit of olive oil. Last but not least, on goes the olive oil on the top. Mm -hmm. Jeez. That's why they call it a white clam pizza, right? That's it. There's really no red in there except for the okay. chili flakes. We're ready to go. All right. Now. Now we got to hold off. We're going to uh, check our oven, wood fired oven, get the temperature right. We're going to be eating good tonight. Oh, yeah. Let's bring that uh, wood fired oven up to temp. We have some dried wood chips in there. Perfect. All right, we got the getting the wood fired oven to temperature. There you go, that sweet spot. You want to get over that 500, 550 at least. And that makes the perfect good. pizza. Yeah, we're heading up. We may get uh, 700 out of this. But anyway, now, here's almost your white clam right, pizza. Ready to go. I, I think that. we got to add something else, though. Yeah, yeah. Got to have. Got to have. That's it. We got, got a little have bit of 
fresh made mozzarella. All right. And we're going to put a little bit of mozzarella oh, on the top. Yeah, nice. A little bit of mozzarella. Kind of hold things together. Yeah. And now, plus traditional. It's, uh, it's just damn cool to do. Yeah. I think a, a traditional That's white clam That's just has it. a parmesan, right? But, That's uh, it. That's but it. the mozzarella, you got to have a mozz yeah, on a pizza. Yeah. So we're adding a little yeah. bit of mozz. That's it. Look at that. We like it. That's what we do. We like, we like doing different stuff. You can definitely eat this right this now. I don't it. think we have to put it in the oven now. Yeah. I think this is ready to go. That's it. That's enough. All right, now. Okay, now we're going in. We're going in. Get it in. There we go. Let me get it for yeah. you. Whoop, whoop. There we go. Okay, look at that. There we go. Right in there. Close up. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Got it. Nice close up shot here. Let me actually get a little light on here so you can see. There we go. Yeah, we Wood fired. Fire we got the temperature we want. This will not take long. We got to closely monitor it because we want to get that uh, that crust just perfect. All right. We'll start again. All right. Let's check this out. All right. Getting close. Oh, look at that. Yeah, look at that. Oh, Jesus. Beautiful. Yeah, look at that, huh? Yeah. Are we there on this one? Are we ready to go? Or? Oh, no, just turn it around. I'm going to turn it around and give it like two more minutes. Yeah, just look at that cross. Let's put it back in. Just look at that. Oh, yeah. Two more minutes. We got it. Oh, and the miracle of time. Oh, yeah. Woo. This white clam pizza is done. Oh, yeah. Take a look at that. Look at that oh. baby, huh? Get that out here, Slash. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? Take a look at that. That's perfection right there. That's perfection. That's the way your white clam pizza should look. All right. Just check that crust. Oh, yeah, look at that. Perfect. Man, are you getting hungry or what? If you're not, uh, you're on the wrong damn channel. You've heard us say that before. So, let's get this uh, pie in the pan. Look at this. You can't have it all crunchy. You want it soft because that way yep. the clams did not get overcooked. That's the key. You don't want to overcook the clams. That's why we shook the clams, right? Mm. First, we didn't steam them. Well, it's nice to mix the shucked ones oh. from the real clams with the canned yeah. clams. Yeah. It has a great flavor. It's a good combination. Oh man, the garlic, the smell of garlic on this. Rick, plenty of garlic. Tell you what. Can't order that pie out here. Gotta take the time and do it. Well, it looks like we got a pizza going on up there too. What's going on? Okay. Now, just let it sit, cool down just a little bit. Everything forms up, firms up. I'm sorry. And uh, I'm gonna go get a jar of peanut butter because I can't eat. Oh, you got your uh, pizza slicer there? Yep, slash? I got it down here. Oh, yeah. cut this up. Oh, oh moly. <laughs> there we go. Are you kidding? You can hear that crunch on it, too. Right? Yes. Oh, man. The neighbors are climbing the fence. Yeah, guaranteed. Oh, the smell of the clam, the clam juice, the cheese. So, yeah, make sure you get yourself a decent uh, pizza cutter. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This 20 inch blade will work. I'm just going to keep. Keep this shot going here. The famous white clam pizza by the Barbecue Pit Boys. Yeah, there are other pizzerias that do it, but we gotta check those out.
Sorry. Especially on our wood fire. Like yeah, look at this. <laughs> Here we go. This is the part where the pit masters are eating in front of you, and That's we're it. not apologizing. Mm. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Mm. 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 That's crazy. Mm. Mm. All the flavors, man. You bite into this, you know you got yourself a seafood pizza oh. right here. Right to the front. Awesome mm. clam taste. The cheese, the garlic. Mm. Mm. Perfect. Mm. So well done, Slasher. And uh, so if you're looking for um, the recipe, head on over to the website. Most of you know about that. Mm. We definitely appreciate your support. And while you're on our website, if you haven't started a chapter, mm. definitely sign up. It's free. It's easy to do start a chapter we've got 18,000 and over 100 countries around the planet and i think we're going to mars too i think musk is uh he's starting we'll a chapter so that'd, be, we can do that'd this. be so cool man so um remember this the next time you're looking for a recipe for your pit barbecue pit check boys out barbecuefitboys.com all right back to you Perfect. that's it for me i'm gonna take this I'm gonna sit down, got myself a cold one. It's mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sit back and watch some pit boy videos. Mm. Perfect.